Yo bros, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my series Struggle to Glory where we try to have fun with the shit team. Last episode we had our first defeat. We're playing three games in this episode and if we win all three we will win the title and be promoted to Division 8. Can we do it though? It's a tough road, our team is really shit and everyone else's is decent. I'm also wearing a West Ham shirt, it's one of my favorite teams in England. Also, I can see the stadium from my window, which is fucking amazing. I went to the old stadium once with my brother, it was a great game. I mean, it was a great atmosphere, we lost 3-0 to Chelsea, but the supporters didn't shut up the whole game. It was great. Anyway, let's cut the crap and watch me struggle. And the first game of the episode, we come against Alex Hunter and almost a full goal team. I think it was the first time I saw Alex Hunter. I see him a lot on YouTube, but I never really played against him. And here we get a really early goal, which is always nice, despite the lag. Anyway, back to Alex Hunter. Uh, I never used him, I don't know if he's really good or not. He seems okay. I wouldn't waste my time doing the journey just to get his card. But I'm still curious to try him. It's a shame that we I can't get the loan version of him of, or something. Anyway, back to the game. Really like the game. We were unlucky not to go two up, two nil up. And here I get a bit greedy and I try to make it the cheeky pass at the end and I fail. This was a very lucky game, as you know. In here, you can see him just slowly turning and leaving all my defense behind. I can't touch him. I managed to get the tackle, but then he does this, look at this, pass, 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 boom, go. It was what, five, six first touches in a row? It was, <laughs> it was an incredible goal. I think it's a nice contrast from the only running to then pass, pass, pass. He caught me off guard, I wasn't expect expecting it, and it was just, yeah, great goal, fair play to him. And anyway, we're back in the game, 1-1, one, one, and he gets... Mohamed Sako sent off which was a bit I wouldn't say it was a red card a yellow card will be okay but anyway good for me we have more chances but the game is really laggy when the game is laggy the best thing is to try to dribble sometimes you'll get lucky sometimes you won't I'm doing my best to get a little bit of space as he gets crazy with the lag and just slides tackle around. And here, really open chance for the goal, but this is horrible. This one should be a red card. What is going to be? It's a yellow, and I think it's messed up. This one should be a red, the other one should be a yellow. Anyway, I prefer to have that silver playing against me than Oliver uh, Mohamed Sako. So I'm not going to complain, but we time was running out, I really needed the goal for that win and I got it in the most awful way, horrible goal, but the goal is a goal and we, we are up, I tried my best to defend, I needed 3 points as you know to go up in the division in this episode, so there was that little bit of pressure every game, but we managed to clear the ball and keep the three points so it's a nice start it was a very tough game very laggy the opponent was good Alexander didn't really see him but as always I struggled against the goal team let's go to game two and into the second game we go and we play against this almost full gold team which means he's still under it's still a squad under construction and that's not good to see because what I want is a squad full of goals, full of special cards because that will mean the other player has been stuck to the lower divisions for a very long time which means he's not that good of a player and of course we want that victory. We need to win these two games to go up in the division so I started super aggressively trying to get ahead right from the start. I almost did for two or three times, yeah three times. And here I, I missed an open goal chance, if, yeah, if Rodriguez could just aim. And then first time that the guy goes to my goal, and he scores like this. This got me fuming. And I went, I, I, I went all attack, I tried to get the goal back and I went 2-0 down. And I really lost my cool. In FIFA, it's a common thing to ha to happen. It happens to everyone. I'm not. I'm no different. 
and I lose that stupid ball and the guy goes 3-0 up which is very sad can we go and score three goals at half time I just closed my eyes and decided to really focus to give you the best comeback in history and I'm, I'm trying all my best here and we get one goal back the hope is alive for you guys that follow me on Instagram, you know what happens here. Straight from kickoff, I rob the ball, I tiki taka into a beautiful counter attack, and Rodriguez, my gold player, doesn't miss from there. It's 3 2. The guy thought it was a no one game, and I could get back in the end, but nope. That was all. There was no more chances, nothing worth to show. The guy went ultra defensive and I couldn't break him down. And as you can see from the table, there's four points that we need to win the title. If you've seen episode one, you'll recognize someone special on my team and that's the goal striker, Der Diok. He's a goal player, he's supposed to be the best of my team, but I just couldn't play with him, he couldn't score. Due to fitness, I had to bring him back to the team, let's see what he can do. And for the final episode of the game, we come against what I just asked for. A full goal team with special cards, which means the guy probably isn't that good to be in this division, or you know, he never played divisions, it's, it's a lottery, let's see what we get. And look at that! There the Ock scores the first goal, what a bomb it was as well. I started to like this guy, but just a little bit. I don't like him as much as I like Joe Charles, which, who is the star of the series, but today he didn't score any goal, at least for now. Who's scoring them is Der De Jok, my new favorite gold striker. He's also the only gold striker, so he's my favorite and my least favorite at the same time. This game was so much more relaxed because there was no pressure. Uh, I knew that I couldn't win this anymore in this episode and guess who scored here by the way it's Nana Opuku Ampoma I think let's see when the game when the name comes up anyway yeah there was no pressure it was a easy game Nana Opuku Ampoma I was right and that's that's all for this episode on the next episode we need one point and let's see if I can get it with this team. It shouldn't be too hard, but it depends on the opponents. opponents. So let's see. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye bye.